I'm going to read you a story called A Man and His Daughter. Once there was a man, and he had a daughter that he didn't know about. He used to poke a lot of honeys back in the early 80s, or 90s. Maybe, probably uh, 90s, because that would make him in his early 40s, maybe mid-40s. He had a brilliant life, a good high-paying job in the city, a really fit wife who would occasionally let him slam her up the arse, and a watertight backstory. He didn't know about his daughter. One Thursday afternoon, he was in his living room being sucked off by his fit wife and watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. When he got bored and went off to play golf, he played an entire game of golf with his two co-workers and returned home. As soon as he walked in the living room, his wife started to laugh. Clive? He was called Clive. Your knob is hanging out from earlier. They both started to laugh. Because <laughs> they didn't like to get worked up over things, and they were both fairly decent people. It was a Tuesday. Clive decided to have some dialogue. I'm so content. I'm, I'm just so into life at the moment. It's really cool and I'm really carefree. It sounded like he was at the park or something. Ding dong! It was the doorbell, and Clive decided to have first-person narrative dialogue. I stood up from where I was sitting in the living room. It was awkward because my wife was trying to suck me off at the time, and I never like to get up when she's doing that. Not only because getting sucked off feels really, really nice, but also because she looks really sad when I just walk off. I felt the sting of guilt and cursed loudly towards the heavens. But I don't believe in heaven, so I just cursed the artex on the living room ceiling. Shit. I answered the door. I knew my penis was still hanging out my flies. I thought this a punishment to whosoever had summoned me to the front door during my leisure time. Behind my front door I found a young teenager, maybe 13 years of age. I was well aware of how this scene would appear to the many onlookers that walked past our Victorian townhouse. They would likely brand me a paedophile and tell the police and my mom that I'm a paedophile. With this in mind, I punched the child clean in the face. She fell backwards off the step, and I slammed the door. I felt another pang of guilt again. But my wife reassured me that I was provoked, as she walked into the hallway to continue sucking me off. This is all wrong, I said, stopping her. You usually suck me off in the living room. I strolled majestically into the living room, and she shuffled along the floor on her knees in an obedient fashion. The sound of come dine with me on full volume drowned out the sound of my penis being filleted. But still I could hear an annoying tapping sound. I turned around to see that little bitch girl at the window. I threw my wife's iPhone at the window, and the screen smashed clean off. But still that little fuckface tapped on the window. I decided to try and scare her away by frantically doing a Nazi salute. Unfazed by white supremacy, the girl continued to tap. I was completely fucked off by this point. I vented my frustration by punching a mug of scalding hot tea off the nearby coffee table and all over my leg. This was unintentional and stung like a cunt. I was glad I had not got it on my wife's face, because this potentially could cause enough damage to impair her sucking for a number of days. This happened in late 2005, the worst year of my life. Strangely enough, that incident was also caused by a visitor at the window. But back then it was my wife's mom. I deliberately threw the tea on my wife's face in order to protect her identity, knowing that she would immediately cover her face with her hands, thus protecting her identity. She paid the price of pain, a temporary inconvenience. I paid the price of four days without penile suction, something which to this day still troubles me to recall. She thanked me for what I did, but this time round she only stopped sucking because I had scolded myself. I stood to my feet, more furious than ever. I was going to drop that bitch outside. I was just going to go out there and bang her out. I was going to sidekick her into a dustbin just like Jackie Chan. I marched outside and stood in front of her, this time not caring that I was nude from the waist down. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't sidekick you into a dustbin just like Jackie Chan. It seemed only fair to give her a chance. The rain was now pouring from the sky. Daddy, it's me, your daughter. What the fuck? The end.